Hello, third grade. We are in day two of our vowel consonant E syllable type. Remember, what is a vowel consonant E syllable type? It means that you have one vowel, one consonant, and then a silent E. Remember that vowel is going to make the long O sound, if it's an O, and you do not hear the E. So, this would be jock, joke. Jock is actually a nonsense word. That's not how we spell it. Today I'm going to talk about spelling options when it comes to vowel consonant E. And one has to do with a k sound at the end of the word. So remember back, if you hear a k sound at the end of the word, k is made by three letters, right? C, K and CK. Most times, if you hear a short vowel sound, you're going to use the CK. Sock, rock, lock. You will hear, you will use the CK digraph if it is a short vowel. Now, rarely do words end with a C. Sometimes they do, like the word rec, if you go to the Kettering Rec Center, but very rarely does a word end with a C. So then you think to yourself, okay, when do I use a K and when do I use vowel consonant E with the E at the end? If you hear a long vowel sound, then you know most likely it's going to be a vowel consonant E. If it's a short vowel sound, it will most likely be a CK. So for example, someone who's really good at sports, you might hear them be called a jock. O octopus ah. That has a CK. That's a short vowel sound. This is a closed syllable. If it was joke, You would not just have the K here, right? Because that would still be a closed syllable. You have to have that E. Now you could say, well, what if we added the C? Could it be this? Well, let me teach you a little something. When a C is next to an E, that is something called a soft C. And the soft C then sounds like an S. This is a nonsense word. It's not a real word. But if it was a real word, I would pronounce this as jos, because that C would be making an S sound because it's followed by an E. So just a little note, nine times out of 10, if you hear a K at the end of a word and there is a long vowel sound, it will be a K vowel consonant E. Okay. Um, let me see. See if I can think. If you hear the word bloke, have you ever heard the word bloke? That's an English word that has a vowel consonant E. Smoke. So, for example, if you hear the word smoke, what would be your options? Well, we know that doesn't work because remember, next to an E, that's going to be a soft C. That would be smos. It wouldn't be with a CK because that would be smock. That's a closed syllable. So it would have to be smoke with the E at the end. That is one spelling option. Let that sink in. If you hear a K with a long vowel sound, most likely it will be a vowel consonant E. So third grade, you saw spelling options on the board in the beginning of this video. So what an option is, well, first off, I want you to notice something. This word has a suffix S, and then it has this T-I-O-N. T-I-O-N makes the shun sound. So if I were to split that word apart, op, shun, and then S. So a spelling option means there are multiple ways you can spell a word. When we do the vowel consonant E, there's actually, you can make long vowel sounds 
with vowel teams. Remember vowel teams? Remember A, I, bait, A. That also makes a long A sound. So you can have vowel consonant E, safe A, and you can also have a vowel team A. You could have the vowel team AY, play A. So when we have a long vowel sound, we have some spelling options. I talked about the K. We just finished talking about the K sound at the end of the word. Now comes the part with an S and a Z. So third grade, when you have a vowel consonant E and you hear a S or a Z in as your consonant, Sometimes it's going to be an S and sometimes it's going to be a Z. There's no rule. It's not like our one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one rule, right? We had a very specific one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one rule when we were doing our closed syllable with one-to-one-to-one. -to -one -to -one. If it's one syllable, one vowel, one consonant after the vowel, and you add a vowel suffix, you double the final consonant. If it's a consonant suffix, you don't, right? That had a very specific rule. This does not have a rule, which means you will be able to look this word up. If we were having a test, you would, be, you would be able to look it up in your spelling options dictionary. You'd have to look it up because there's no rule. So let me give you some words that are an example. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Say, for example, you have the word. <laughs> I have to pause it because I'm... <laughs> Hold on, third grade. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, I'm back. I had to get a drink of water. Okay, so let's go back. Spelling options means you have a choice, you have an option. So say for the example, you hear the word rose, like the rose in the garden had thorns. The red rose in the garden had thorns. When you hear the word rose, if you had to tap that out, I hear a long vowel sound. So because we're working with vowel consonant E, words, I'm going to assume that that's a vowel consonant E. Er, I hear a long O, and it sounds like a Z to me, right? It sounds like a Z. Rose, vowel consonant E. Except remember that S can also make a Z sound. So then you have to ask yourself, okay, is it a Z or is it an S? Because remember, the S can also make a Z sound. Rose, rose. In this case, the correct spelling of rose is R-O-S-E. But think about the word doze. If you doze off, that means you've fallen asleep. So doze, so you're like, oh, okay, well maybe doze is an S. This actually is a word, but it's not doze. This is actually doze. Doze actually has the Z in it. If you sleep, you doze off. D, O, Z, and then I need that E to make that vowel long. This word is dose. This time, this S sounds like an S. Over here in rows, the S sounded like a Z. But in this word, dose, if you take a dose of medicine, it sounds like an S. And in this case, if you doze off rows and doze, they rhyme, but one has an S and one has a Z. What if your mom asks you to pose for a picture? What are we gonna do? Pose. P o, P O, Z. I hear a Z. I have to put my E to make that a long vowel sound, because if I don't add the E, this is pause, right? So I have to add that E. Well, is that how we spell pose for a picture? Or 
is it an S? Because remember, an S can make a Z sound. Here I have again, P, O, so I know I need that E at the end, Z. Which one is it? You should have said this one, S. So third grade, you have spelling options with vowel, consonant, E words. That means sometimes if you hear a Z, it's gonna be an S, like rose and pose. And sometimes if you hear a Z, it's gonna be a Z, like in doze. Let that sink in. Those are called spelling options.